the world of tomorrow. How does technology impact us? Statistics and weather. Who or what is God? My major is sports management, and I never really thought that I would uh, learn science in this capacity. The course How Things Work teaches the basic principles of physics in a way that really sticks and you actually learn it rather than just memorizing it so you can regurgitate it on a test. Medicine in America. Poetry. What is it good for? Digital media. Men, women, and monsters. You know when you head off to school for your first year, you always have to take a bunch of generic, boring intro courses that aren't even in your major. Here, you get to take courses that you're actually interested in. It's the core curriculum. Good hit, good hit. Push, push, push. Head injuries and concussions are always a big deal in any sport, especially a sport like lacrosse. Anything those students can do to help us and keep these boys safe out here, I applaud 100%. You put your feet together, arms out. You would get them to stand in place with their feet together. You would then ask them to close their eyes. That's going to test their balance. Put your right hand to your nose, left hand to your nose, arms back down. I think the core curriculum is better for students and teachers because the students are actually attracted to topics they have a genuine interest in. Cockfighting, lip discs, and dog for dinner. Understanding cultural relativity. Fads, fashions, and movements. The media and the supernatural. Christian music traditions. You have to realize you're not in the class just to read a comic book, unfortunately. You actually have to do work and think deeper into what you're reading and what it really means. Graphic novels I, are important in regards to culture in the sense that they, they reflect the mood of the culture. Scientific pursuit of happiness. Are virtual realities for real? The meaning of life. Cryptology, secrets and security. A study of American film. Everything's an argument. A classic liberal arts education is about developing skills problem-solving communication skills. We all know that people are going to change their careers several times. They need to have the fundamental skills that are going to allow them to adapt to new problems, new careers, new directions. We watch series on TV like CSI and Bones and we get to do things in the lab that are exactly what they do, like looking for fingerprints and identifying blood stains. It's a lot of fun. This class has helped change my perspective on chemistry. Uh, we've gotten real hands-on. Last week we were examining skeletons, deciding which race and which sex they were. Um, then we examined a car accident. There are a lot of interesting things that just really you know, brought the class to life. <laughs>